Kaiser is a major policy and all of my fellow teammates. Firstly, uh, I want to explain about method used in survey explanation on triangulation, bearing, and instead of set and position. My name is Muhammad Ali Bia I am the first presenter. Did you know that the Pyramid Giza at the Egypt? Uh, can you imagine how this how this uh, how this pyramid was created a thousand years ago? Maybe there's a secret or a technique uh, that they used long ago that we don't know. So from the knowledge of land surveying, they use the concept of application of geometry. So uh, today I want to tell you about land surveying. Basically, land surveying is the most basic sense we get as observing marking specific point on the earth for establishing boundaries, navigational mapping and in terms of land surveying, uh, they cover up until from the upper uh, in the air to the deepest uh, in the sea. So, according to the American Congress on Surveying and Mapping ACSM, we say that land surveying is the science and art of making all essential measurements to determine the relative position x. Y and Z. Okay. The land surveying technique is the procedure of precisely finding out the value of 3D dimensional space, location of point, and the distance and slant measurement. Surveying is the process of determining relative position of different objects on the surface on the surface of the earth by measuring horizontal distance between them and preparing a map to any suitable scale which now they will call a topography study about map so measurements are taken in horizontal plane only okay, to proceed to the next presenter method that used in survey is triangulation Triangulation is a method of establishing horizontal control by selecting station probable proportion triangle. All the angles of the triangle are measured by repetition. Only one side, called baseline, is measured accurately, the other side are computed. Triangulation is used in GPS to track a location, cell phone signal, picked up by three or more cell towers enabling the triangulation to work. When the triangulation happens, with the point of overlap of three signals, it is possible to estimate the location of the cell phone based on its distance from the three towers. The cell tower broadcast their location and by knowing the distance of the phone, from each tower, the coordinate of the cell phone is calculated. And distance method. Many and distance method is also known as traverse survey method. There are two types of traverse. First is open traverse. Open traverse is start with a known point and end with unknown point. Close traverse is start with a known point and end at a known point. Prismatic compass is the one of the survey that use bearing and distance method. Direction of survey line are determined with a compass and the length of the line are measured with a tap and tap or a chain. Prismatic compass is used to measure the bearing from the one station to another station. Tap is used to measure a distance between stations. Also become baseline of said survey. That involve using an old fashioned that measure stretch across an area of the site to create a baseline. 
this method require to people to make their measurements. Offset can be used for examining survey of a last area of Based on offset is perhaps one of the easiest and most durable techniques that we have. All you require is two tapes, at least one peg, and either graph paper or a piece of blank paper. What you then do is you'll be recording at right angles from objects or structures down to the baseline. To start the baseline offset, the first thing you have to do is actually set up the baseline. So you need a tape such as an open reel 30, 50 meter tape, just to give you a little bit of extra to play with. You need to consider how far the tape needs to go and what things you need to measure off the baseline. So first up, we put a peg in so that it stays firm. We then extend the tape outwards. Now one of the considerations is how you're going to align the tape. You can either make sure it aligns to, for instance, a north-south or east-west, or if you're not going to align it along a cardinal direction, then you need to record what that direction is that you've actually done. Once you have the tape set, peg in the far end so that the tape does not move from this point. So the baseline remains fixed. The second stage is to take measurements from the object or the feature or the structure to the baseline. Now this is critical. You always do your measurement from the structure, feature, object to the baseline, not the other way around. So the zero point of the tape must go onto the feature. We extend the tape, you can use a cloth tape or you can use a metal tape. We then, to get a right angle, we pass the tape in an arc over the baseline until we get the shortest distance. Once you have the shortest distance, that represents a right angle. You then have to take two measurements. One is the distance along the baseline. So in this case, it's 1 meter 22, and then there is the distance from the point. In this case, 1 meter 33. Once you've recorded that, you then need to do all the other points that you are recording. Today I would like to talk about resection method. Okay, actually what is resection, resection method? Resection method is used in surveying as well as in general land navigation. It involves taking a remote or bearing to two or more objects, then drawing lines of position along those recorded bearing or azimuth. Rejection method can be used in plane table which located which location of plane table is unknown. It, it is determined by citing it to non point or floating point. Two points are cited 
from other point corresponding to the point given in plane tab plane sheet. A and B are the two point corresponding corresponding to the point A and B. Now plane table is located at B and oriented by side A. Side C from B and BX is plotted on the sheet. Then shift the plane table to C. Oriented by back sighting V along XB, then elevate its place over N, over A and side station A. Then line A cut the line BX at somewhere which is located as point C at station C. Okay. Uh, there are four methods of surveying that is Translation, bearing and distance, offset and recession method is commonly used among surveyors. Uh, revolutionary changes have taken place in the last few days in surveying instruments that are used for measuring level difference, distance and angle. This has become possible because of the introduction of electronics in this measurement. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video.